The Psych franchise continues with the soon-to-be-released Psych 3 This Is Gus, the third film since the end of the series in 2014. Shockingly, the series hit its 15-year anniversary in 2021, and the hope is to culminate that in another love letter to fans with This Is Gus. Does the movie sign that letter with love, or does it psych us out in the end? Come on, son. Stay tuned to find out, and hang around at the end of the review for questions you tots have asked to be answered by me. Be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe with notifications on to see more psych content in the future. Psych 3 This Is Gus follows our beloved heroes Sean and Gus as they set off to cross their T's and dot their I's before Gus's wedding to Selene and the birth of baby Guster. It isn't long before Sean realizes something doesn't quite add up about Selene, setting them up on a wild goose chase that puts the duo's relationship to the test. Up to this point, I've enjoyed the Psych movies. Admittedly, I think each movie comes with a layer of nostalgia and love for the franchise that's optimism almost blinds you a bit. While I did enjoy Lassie Come Home, on revision, I felt it lacked a bit of meat on the bone. The jokes were solid, but the story and drive for those characters needed a bit more. That fear came over me a bit with the release of This Is Gus's trailer, showing next to no mystery and a plot that might not be enough to drive the movie a feature film distance. Psych 3 This Is Gus is the longest movie to date at 96 minutes, and I can safely say every minute packs a meaty punch. The first 15 minutes exudes enough confidence in our beloved characters and the progression of the storyline to propel the plot forward, even without a true bad guy, which, I mean, you still get one. Jokes are layered. Nostalgic ones are in place, including the Suck It, Wait For It, and of course, famous names for each other, including perhaps my series favorite, a heartwarming nod to James Rodé Rodriguez's last name edition. Some are a bit deeper in thought, and even providing meta-commentary on Sykes' own standing in the world. Then others, including an epic, five-minute-long bathroom fight scene between Sean and Gus that is so stupid, so ridiculous, that your stomach will be in pain from laughter. Without question, this is Gus's the series' funniest movie. Returning to the scene is Timothy Omenson's Chief Lasseter, who, like the actor in real life, is transforming the character and growing. Lassie is trying to get back on the saddle of crime fighting, relying on Sean and Gus to get him there in their own childish ways. All of which is sweet, but made exceedingly better by Lassie and Marlo living in Henry's old house, with Lily, a teenager, doing what she can to protect her recovering father. The relationship is so damn cute, and mirrors Sean and Henry's relationship decades prior. Girl power continues in this one, as it did with Lassie Come Home. Selene, Jules, and Chief Vic team up to save the boys from themselves, each character given enough to chew off to satisfy fans. At the heart of the story is Sean's attachment to Gus and the fear of losing him to Gus's adulthood. Sean, still battling with his own future with Jules, is a bit absent mind to his own best friend's actions and how he is clearly sharing each moment with Gus. It shows, despite how great of a detective Sean can be, he is entirely fallible. While my enjoyment in the movie remained consistent throughout its runtime, a few things still bother me, and most are general nitpicks. A few beloved characters don't share any scenes together, including two that feel almost attached to the hip that don't have one single scene together. While Sean's fear of the future continues to loom over the movie, nothing is exactly addressed going forward. In all honesty, the last 10 minutes of the movie, which are frantic and hectic in ways the franchise has never seen, which are truly hilarious, nothing's set up. I guess this is possibly a good thing in case nothing is greenlit a fourth time around. Psych 3 This Is Gus is the best movie bar none in the franchise so far. Jokes are layered, but aren't so constant you feel burnt out. The story, set up in the first 15 minutes, has plenty of meat on it to last the 96 minute runtime and is pure joy throughout. The evolution of these characters, not just in Sean and Gus, is a sight to behold. The movie brought me plenty of laughs, smiles, and heartwarming moments that the franchise has really done a great job of building on. Nitpicks aside, this movie is everything I've wanted and leaves plenty open to the future. I just wish it was another season even in shortened form. Regardless, Psych This Is Gus is a beautiful love letter to the fan base, and fans will not be disappointed.
Here's some Q&A time from my beloved subscribers, all of which of my answers will be spoiler free. Pop Pops ask, how would I rank it in comparison to the other two movies as well as the musical? In my opinion, I think this is right up there with the musical and definitely the best of the three movies. Nikki Bailu asked, was there at least more shuls this time around? Uh, not really. Mouse Pounder asks, does the movie feel like more than a long episode? Does the movie take any risks or is it merely playing all the classics that fans have come to expect? Risks? Not really. I think the movie's pretty straightforward. It does feel like a long episode, but none of that feels bad. Uh, it feels like a very... If it was a episode in the series, it would definitely be one of the highlights of the season. So it's definitely good. And that's all I have. I want to thank you guys so much for watching the review and giving me this amazing opportunity. Thank you for NBC Universal for the review. Be sure to subscribe, smash the like button, leave me a comment on what you're most looking forward to in the movie, and I'll see you tots on the next video.